the CH-53 Echo, uh, it's, a, it's an assault support aircraft uh, tasked with uh, lifting heavy equipment, supplies, and troops uh, to uh, various locations, day or night, in all weather conditions. Where we can carry uh, heavy lift uh, equipment, supplies internally, also externally with our uh, external hooks. So that's uh, the bread and butter, moving supplies, troops, medical aid, food from point A to point B. So we have uh, four JGSCF showing up. So we have a master sergeant and three sergeants. It's a pretty straightforward flight. We're going from Fatema, we'll be going down the, uh, the southeast side of the island uh, into an LZ just on the uh, immediate east of uh, Naha International. Uh, disembark our packs, uh, and then we'll just be returning the uh, reverse routing back up here to uh, Fatema. We have potential language barriers, different set of airspace rules. Um, we bring a pretty significant footprint, uh, both logistically and just in uh, our sheer size. So these are all things that we have to, uh, you know, foresee and, and plan for. Uh, I mean, we operate routinely around the island on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, it's, it's kind of significant today because they're willing to take a pause in their operations at their international airport, which is extremely busy, uh, to help facilitate uh, us coming in and, and just kind of crossing that bridge. We haven't ever operated down there before. We're looking forward to do it today. Oh, I think it's a great opportunity, and it's, a, it's an important mission, too. Uh, like Captain Hollis was saying, you know, that uh, joint planning, training uh, for those disaster, the disaster relief on the front side will pay dividends on the uh, back side and uh, build those relationships between our host nation and ourselves. I think it's exciting. That's something I've never done, so it'll be a really great opportunity. And I like that we'll hopefully help our relations in the future be able to do more of this sort of thing. all our training back in Miramar uh, to become a deployable status unit and then we came here uh, fully trained. Uh, all the aircraft on the line here uh, are flyable at uh, the drop of a hat so uh, uh, maintenance, all our crew chiefs, flight liners, airframes, they work real hard to make sure this airplane are up uh, all day or basically any day of the week and then really all, all we're waiting for right now is we continue our training just to make sure we're current but we're, we're fully trained and then we're really waiting just for hire to come down and say hey here's a mission you guys need to execute and then I just come down to my crew chiefs and the rest of the pilots and uh, I'm confident in their training and we can we can execute whatever missions put in front of us so, so we we are ready as of right now staying here we can, we can execute any mission it's a beautiful island a lot of good scenery a lot of interesting cool things to do out here uh, the culture the sights the food is uh, is all amazing I wasn't uh, really expected for that but it was a uh, definitely a pleasant surprise out here